Hello everyone, my name is Sinner and we've got something new for you today. However, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to tell you that nearly 70% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could do me a huge favor by liking the video, commenting below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell. It really helps with the channel and lets me know that you're liking what I'm making. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. Press block. I don't know why this weapon fucking went through my block. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess uh, his jumping attacks don't get interrupted. What a shit enemy. Okay, let's let's get out of here so we don't have to come back. <laughs> let's finish exploring the piece of shit. Make the rules in your game universal. Like, if an enemy's jumping in the air and not, an enemy's being knocked out of the air, or if an enemy's being knocked out of the air when they're jumping and they get hit, make it to where that applies to all enemies. Not some whenever you feel like it. Like, part of what made Dark Souls 1 amazing was that its rules are pretty much universal for all enemies. Here over when we have jumping attacks. Like it's I don't know. There's a lot about this game that does not feel good. That seems to defy the what made Dark Souls good. But I'm pretty sure they have good reasons for doing those things. We can't. I'm sure they have good reasons for those things. It's like when you have a situation where you have to choose between a bad option or a worse option, you choose the bad option. This is what it is. Alright, so let's get up here and see what's going on. So they're all doing like five damage to each other. Yeah, they are, so they fight forever. Of course, does to do a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, so what do we got? Something else over here. Okay, PV uh, co-op item. Sounds good. Now what's over here? What's over yonder? I think I've been there before. Alright, so is there anything over here? No. Yes, we're good there, and let's keep going. Steel wire torch. Oh, no, okay. Steel wire torch. Yeah, so it does more damage, it has more dex scaling, and it requires more stats. Fire breather, huh? Okay. Our fire doesn't hurt us. But, uh, okay, that sounds good. Is it a one-off? Or can you keep doing it? 
No, okay. So there's a, that's the attack from the... Uh, from... I forget what they're called. But the uh, enemies in the painted world of Ariamas, of Ariandel, and Dark Souls 3. The uh, torch dudes. So there you go. I think this is everything. I think we've searched this entire place. Hmm. Okay, so what is left? Maybe go over here, we won't get hurt. And I think we've been here. Yeah, this is gonna be those two ranged boys. Of course they may or may not decide to be ranged. Sounds good. I don't think we've gone down here yet. Is this just a shortcut to get down? Uh, might be. It's sort of hit, huh? Healing head. Okay. Sounds good, I guess. So what's over here? Die. Cool. Golden runes. And what else we got? So there might be somebody over here, and that is just back to the start. Okay, what's up? Who are you? Uh, there's a face I've not seen before. I'm Edgar, warden of this castle, as ordained by Lord Godric himself. But you can see how things have turned out. The menials have all rebelled. They gave me good service, or so I thought. But it seems it was all an act. Foul creatures, as it said. And true enough, they're foul inside and out. I'm sorry to disappoint you. But whatever you come here to do, I'm afraid Castle Morn won't hold much longer. Take this by way of apology. No, thanks. I see. From... Arena. Thank you. I mean, you're dead. But I can't leave yet. Even if the castle should fall, as commander, I must remain to ensure the treasured Sword of Morn does not fall into the wrong hands. If you see Arena, do tell her that her father will come for her once he's fulfilled his duty. If you see Arena, her father... Alright. The treasured sword of Morn. Can we survive? Ah! Uh... So what I'd really like to see is the carrion slicer at the very least have a uh, a guard counter version, a guard counter attack. Really like to see that. Okay, so I think we've explored everything we can here. So I believe we can get out of Castle Morn then. Can we teleport out of here? Yeah. What's that? A poison swamp. There's some more ramparts. Right. 
Let's go. Didn't we... Didn't we activate the... The site of grace that's near the uh, trader? Oh, yeah. And this is the one. Alright then. Let's go tell Irina if she's still there. Now we have... Delivered the ma delivered the letter to her father. To her father. Alright. The menials. Okay, let's go. She's over here, I think. She's dead. That's unfortunate. So, what happens now? Okay, can we just keep moving and then get out of combat? Now we just have to cut the game? Is that what I have to do? There's like a wolf who's chasing us, a dog. Okay, like, what is still in combat with us? Like, literally nothing is attacking us right now. Finally. Okay. Go behind the gates. Lift the castle more. Yeah, we get, to, we get to choose this one. Okay. So let's get over there where he is. Again. I wonder if it is literally just if you uh, deliver his letter, she dies. Or if you don't do it fast enough or something like that. We just kill the dogs first instead of wasting turn. Did we send the lift back down or do we have to wait for that shit again? Fuck it. Alright, so. I just don't want to wait for the lift again. Like, this should be on the other side of the lift, not at the bottom, not at the base. I don't understand why it's at that point. Whatever, let's go get a shit though. The game has been really good about not putting crap like that in the game, where it's just something that's there that forces you to waste your time waiting. I don't know. I really don't like forcing the player to wait because of because of design decisions. Like for instance, giving the player fast travel is literally was literally bums off saying we don't want you to have to run from point A to point B. So like this is here. Like really, that spot, of, that side of gray should be here. It really should be here. Not down there. I also like the ladder or something that we can kick down over there. That would be a great shortcut to get to that dude. Just in case we want to talk to him again. I'm curious as to what he will do. Those guys. 
We just need to aggro him. I can sort of disappear. Are they like, falling off the fight? I think they are. Oh yeah, they're falling off up there. That's what's happening. Okay, good. Now he's uh he's been activated. <laughs> except the enemy doesn't act except the enemy doesn't aggro. Those guys aren't aggroed yet, so he's just gonna kill them one by one. <laughs> Let's get, let's get to that NPC and tell him that his daughter's dead. His daughter was brutally murdered. So in uh, Dark Souls 1, if you ran on stamina, you would fall off the ladders. So there's this thing you could do. Where you dodge a lot before you got on a ladder, and then you jump on a ladder. And so your character would just like get on a ladder and then immediately fall. <laughs> it was great. It was the dumbest looking thing possible. <laughs> oh, that's right, we don't need to go this way. We can go the other way. Get up. So I wonder if these guys are going to hound us the entire way. I don't want to fall off. Okay, so we need to recharge our mana. So yeah, they remind me of, um, this is supposed to be Bowser from the uh, Mario movie from the 90s. Man, that movie was terrible. <laughs> oh yeah, and because they fell off, now these guys don't have anybody to fight. They'll do full damage to us, they will not do full damage to, their, to the enemies. Here's the question, will they actually come up here? Yes. Yes, they will. Hello, I'm killing your men. I'm in your debt for keeping the sword from those foreign creatures. I'm no longer bound by duty. Once I've rescued Arena, I will spend my remaining days with her. Um, Thanks to you, and devote my arena has a gentle nature, though. I only hope it remains intact. Thanks to you, I will be reunited with Arena, and devote my remaining days to her. Arena has a gentle nature, though. I only hope it remains intact. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I think we've done the thing we can do here. Uh, cast the new one. Maybe Arena is back. Maybe she is alive again. I doubt it.
where the game bugs out and she's alive again. Oh no! Greener. How could this be? My daughter deserved better. The fault lies with me. I chose duty over my daughter's safety. And that is how fate has answered. I'll find them. The foul wretch is responsible for this. I'll hunt them down and exterminate every last one of them. Rest assured, Arena, it will be done. I'll find them. The foul, I'll hunt them, rest assured. Oh, that's how it goes. Oh, go, get your revenge. Kill them all. Come on. What was that? No, oh no. Hey. Ah, wrong one. <laughs> nice. So we basically did the equivalent of uh, shooting a car with a heat round. <laughs> I mean, it'll do the job. Lindgrave. These guys just have people hanging from everything, don't they? How do they even get in those towers? There's no doors. Or are they? Mm -hmm. There are no doors on these towers. <laughs> How do they get inside? <laughs> Do you have to go below the bridge to get to the door? Maybe. Possibly. Oh, I have to go see the spot of grace. Ah, oh, it's over there. So it's good. You have no idea how they actually get inside of that tower. <laughs> so, like, normally on a bridge like this, assuming the bridge is defensive in nature, it has towers like this, so I, I assume it's defensive in nature. These would essentially... Like, this would have these little, like... they would have these little holes, these little, um... I forget what they're called. Uh, arrow ports, I guess. They have them over here, which is odd. Because, well, who are they shooting at? But, um, they'd normally be, like, over here. And so, ar archers would shoot out of those. And basically, the center area would just be what's called a murder box. Essentially. And so, the enemy would go in there, and they would just get shot to death. And the... The entrance towers, they would normally be like a bridge from that end to that end in the front as well if you wanted to make it really defensive the only way is in and out would actually be back here on your side of the towers so the enemy has to break through the towers has to break through the fence itself get back here and then actually get inside the tower which should probably be over here if you really wanted to be fancy and you were like this, you'd have a bridge, you'd have ladder, not ladders, you'd have the stairs going down. You get to a lower entrance, I guess. If you really wanted to be fancy. Uh, I, I, I don't think anybody was actually that fancy. But you could do it. Anyway, just have bunches of defenses. The developers do not think about that. They don't really care about that. They just want it, they, they just want it to look like stuff. <laughs> like whenever you see rock formations, in, in video games. 
They couldn't actually think about what rock formation would go best there. They just said, well, this looks cool. And this is what it sort of looks like in reality. So let's make that. <laughs> Wait, I've got it. <laughs> I've got it. So, you see those ropes? Those weren't actually soldiers who were executed. Those were soldiers who shot their grapple hook up there. And then as they were climbing, they slipped somehow. And the rope got tied around their necks and the other guys just left them there. And the, the, that's how it goes. The, the, there you go. There you go. <laughs> this is the dumbest possible way it could happen. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see if that dude's still over there. He's dead, I know. Why is it always dead? Don't worry. Hit me barrier. <laughs> okay, well, the Sword of Morn seems to be the grafted sword that we got. So that works. Um, where can we go next? Well, there's that, but I don't know how to get there. Maybe we could go traverse across this wall. We can get on there. Uh, there's a cave over here. We go there. There's his shack. Okay, sounds good. Lots of stuff. I like it. All these ruins over here. And then something over here. Oh, and here's a uh, here's something. Hmm. I think we'll go over here and then we'll head over that way. Because I think how the game wants you to play it is you start over here, right? You start there. You go run into Godric. Uh, Godric. Margit. Um, he takes his cane and. Um, uh, teaches you to like it as he shoves it into your body and then you say well screw that so you leave and you get on here so you do all this and then maybe after that you go back to Margit um, get taught about how being a bottom feels and then you head over here <laughs> you do this and then by that point you go back and you're probably starting off to fight Margit <laughs> I will snuff out the flame of ambition with them, and you will snow your face with the ball gag of its servitude. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's go put that there, and let's head over there. Yes. Except, I think we need to head. I think we need to head north. Yeah, there's a swamp over here. That's fine. What else is there? Oh, that's how we go. Sounds good. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I get you. Sacred Blink. Well, right there. Wait. What? Okay, well, we're going in the right direction. Hello, wolves. Don't even need the other. And we were heading towards. We need to go east. That's no one. Where do you go east now? Oh, 
Okay, another Berserk reference here. Okay. Let's go here and check this out. Lord Godbrain. At last, at the end of his campaign, his golden army is unvanquished and unbowed, yet finds let yet finds grace lost, tattered, and faded. All right? Is there someone in here? That hasn't happened yet, has it? Does that mean we're getting invaded? Tarnished Eater, Anastasia. Well, Anastasia. Ah, she has hyper armor. All right then. Sounds good. Yeah, she she has hyper armor, so we're gonna cheap it out. First, we need to heal. Second, we need to get our mana back. Second, we need to wait until she does something. Then we will just punish her endlessly. Your chair. Come on, Tarnished Eater. Ah, we're out of money. Come on, get locked into an animation. There you go. Why is game lagging? Sigrid Scorpion Charm. Okay, so what does that do? Raises Holy Attack with Lerus Damage and Negation. That sounds good. So yeah, we couldn't stagger her with our Carrion Slicer, so he said, alright, never mind then. <laughs> Missionary Cookbook and Nomad Warrior's Cookbook. Excellent. Does that mean we can make new stuff? <laughs> Maybe? Oh, we can level up. Excellent. We'll just put another point into intelligence. And let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. We got that last one. Um, hmm. Blade. Lines. We can put the piercer on. That's Starlight and Terra Magicus. So if we want to be a black mage, we can be a black mage. <laughs> be a black mage, then we just use that magic mortar thing that they have. We just nuke everything over and over and over and over and over. Hmm. Okay, we'll go with that one, I guess. Go with the piercer. Is there anything around here? Or is this just a, like a fight area? I'm guessing it's just an area to fight her in. We fall five inches. Oh! It reminds me of uh, back in the day where we used to play stuff like Unreal 99. I'm dating myself now. Back when we were, you know, kids. And uh, we would just set gravity to like 99 times what it's supposed to be. So as long as you're running around, it's everything's perfectly fine. 
the moment you jump at all or fall any distance, you instantly explode. <laughs> it's great. It was great and incredibly stupid. Okay, I have this, this guy. I'm just gonna stay away from him. There's another Erd Tree avatar. These guys are nice, but uh, kind of they they will just one shot us. What is this? Okay, nice. Minor Erd Tree catacombs. Well, that works for me. Let's rest here. I think I'm getting tired. <laughs> okay, that works. What is this? Sending pool is now operational. Well, isn't that great? <clears throat> uh, I think I'm going to go to sleep for the day. Catch you guys next time. And let's see where we can go now. <clears throat> so where are we? We're up here. Oh yes, the minor Erd tree at Catacombs. Uh, let's try... Ooh, there's something here. So let's go there. Oh yeah, we wanted to head down here. Hmm. We'll do that. Let's see if we can get around here. Maybe, just maybe. Yeah, we can't jump that. So we need to take a different route. Now we could put the Earth Tree uh, Guardian Deed. But, uh, I kind of don't want to right now. <clears throat> the Ed Tree Avatar. So we're gonna avoid that guy. We're gonna avoid his little friends. And we are going to promptly go around. Really, right? <laughs> I like how we ride up to him and then hit him and tell him to get away from us. <laughs> All right, let's go. <clears throat> okay. So, where are we on the map? Just need to come down here, or we can go around. Um, let's just head down. Yeah, so it's slightly over there. Okay, we'll use this one as well, so let's go ahead and grab that. <laughs> Don't know what's going on with my throat right now. And then make our way down here. This should work out for us, I think. There we go. I'm just trying to find... <clears throat> yes, we're trying to find... <clears throat> let's see. Ah! Okay, we can probably make that call. That looks like the entrance. So let's go ahead and go in here. The Gale Tunnel. Let's put on <coughs> our... Let's pull out our slow set. Hello, friends. Goodbye, friends. You tell. Oh, uh, well. <clears throat> Down he goes. 
Okay, so is this the uh, path down? It is. <clears throat> Let's jump over there. Let's turn on our lights. Our light. Let's make our way over here. What is this random stuff? I'm waiting for us to pick up something and then the characters be like, ah! You know, like those those dudes in the prison and uh and Dark Souls 3. <laughs> they scream whenever you take their stuff. Well, don't scale it up. Ah yes, there's our friend. What was that? I heard something. I did lock that. Can we get out of here? Or are we stuck down here now? Is this our life? <laughs> I think this is our life now. Now, I have a question. How do they get all these boxes down here? Do they just chuck them down here? <laughs> they lower them down there with a winch that's gone now? Anyway, let's just be a sneaky boy. <clears throat> and... Gotcha. Sort of. He's gonna come over here. He's gonna see what, mate. Oh, he's stuck. We'll help him out. <clears throat> okay, so. <laughs> Don't know if you heard the last of that. Oh no! You! Now, oh, great. He's letting everyone know we are here. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Ugh. Die. Alright, so what is this? Didn't expect that item. I didn't either. What is this? Pickled. A gold pickled fowl fruit. What? Well, fruit. Not fruit. Nope. There. Kill him. Kill him dead. There. We'll take his pickaxe, we'll take his stuff. That soldier didn't deign to, um. <clears throat> Join his colleagues. Oh no. We got fire boy. Yeah. Hello you, goodbye you. Eh. <laughs> oh no. Well, he's, you know, he's, he's, it's a flame war, as you can see. He has discovered Twitter. Damn it. <laughs> ah, slightly longer range. And die. Alright, we got him. What else we got around here? This seems like it's probably a uh, much earlier area of the game. Murderize his friends. Murderize him too. And we'll just take stuff out left and right. <clears> that <throat> oh, we did have something. Oh, right, we have a bunch now. I'm so used to only having three uh, items. Oh, there's the big one. It looks meaner than it is.
as you can see. Uh, looks sweeter than it is by uh, jacking us up. Alright, let's take out its kid. You know. Then more. Uh, child murderer. <laughs> Hello, you. Ow. Ow. Alright, we need to heal. Hey. Hey. Alright, sounds good. And now it's dead. Ow. We actually need to retarget it each time. Right I know. Ooh, we can still still the fireflies, I guess. In Japanese culture, fireflies are the souls of warriors. I think. Maybe. Alright, so how about cross Naganata? So Naganatas are basically pole arms. Uh, they're essentially they are like glaives. <clears throat> But with a much narrower blade on the end. Alright, so we got everything from that. <clears throat> we got a weapon in here, so I'm assuming that weapon is going to uh, basically be really useful against the boss if we could use it. And we upgraded it. So it's this one, it is considered a spear. And yeah, you know, it's pole arm, it's basically a glaive. Has a little katana blade on the end. Naganatas were popular among Japanese women. But of course, fighting somebody with a polearm when you have just a sword is a complete pain in the <laughs> It's uh, very difficult. Basically, they have they have the range advantage and you don't. Alright, it's different for charged. Seems to move a few steps further. Nice. Okay, nothing new there. Cool. Alright, no, oh, oh, I've seen the moveset. But yeah, uh, fighting somebody with a pole arm is actually incredibly difficult. Because you have to basically close in on them. Sparta. And you have to close in on them, and uh, <laughs> they don't have to close. You have to close in on them, and they can kill you the entire time you're closing in. Die. So, there and all. Goodbye. Dark Crystal's exclu exclusive stone clump. More Grace Mimic. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's for that's uh, basically an item that lets you uh, look like an item in the world. You didn't pull fight. No. Lies. Okay, sounds good. And he's getting attacked by something, that spirit is. So, what is this? Something burst out of here? What is this? Who are you? Who, 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 who? Oh, wonderful. Oh, great. <laughs> We're just like, well, it looks like it's a boss. You know what it's time to do? Run away! 
<laughs> we embrace the uh, Monty Python way of fighting enemies. Something shows up, everybody screams, RUN AWAY! In the <laughs> Hello, gents. Hello, you. How's it going, bruh? Bruh. Oh, well, we didn't need to do that. I'm gonna take a sip. Right. Time to run for our lives. As a dude's like, you know what? Now's about the right time. Play my trumpet or whatever is that. Let's open this and um Oh hi. Where did you spring from? This was supposed to be a dead end, I'm sure of it. What's going on? Stranger things. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> we should have just quit the game. <laughs> so we could talk to him. But okay, we, we didn't lose anything. So we'll go over there and kill them. He's like, oh, hello! My name is Mr. Pot. We met last time. We met a while ago. It's been fantastic speaking to you. <laughs> Later, dudes. It's like, I'm out of here. Screw you guys. <laughs> okay. We've got our spoof. Oh, nice. Oh, there's another entrance, ain't there? Hello, Brendo. Ow. You know what? It's slicer time. <laughs> Alright, well, we're, we're right next to where we're going to respawn. <laughs> and we didn't lose anything. <laughs> Who cares? We probably should have healed, but it doesn't really matter. Alright. Wait, what's over here? We got our slicer, aren't they? Where does this go at? Where are we? Okay, sounds good. Alright. Sounds great to me. Well, I guess we can go fight the Magma Dragon. Now you see, here's the thing. If they put a checkpoint literally right next to the Magma Dragon, that means you're going to have a bad time. Unless you are just stacked. <laughs> Let's head over here and... Okay, well, there's nothing there. Hello, Portman. Where did you spring from? This was supposed to be a dead end, I'm sure of it. What's going on here? A door from thin air. Well, stranger things happen at sea, or so I'm told. But onward I shall go. I am the warrior Jar, Iron Fist Alexander. I was heading to Redmayne Castle, on the southern edge of the scarlet, rot-blighted Kaelid Wilds, where a festival is being held, until I was stumped by that dead end. <laughs> Hello, Siegfried, or Sigurd, or whatever you want to call yourself in this version of the game. <clears throat> Try sorcery. Be wary of dragon. Hello, dragon. It's time for round two. We can block that? Oh, no. What's he doing? Ooh. Oh, hello, um... That one character from... Ow. From Dark Souls 1. Ow! 
in a much, much smaller arena. <laughs> I forget, the, it was the boss of the depths who would do this, but instead of having, like, the first part of his body go, and then, like, do that, it just, it just does it. It doesn't just do it, it, you know. Sort of makes this way forward a little bit. But our stuff is in there now. Alright, you damn dirty dragon. Okay, I've got... Uh, well... Here we go. Uh. Eh. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna... Ow! Ow! <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have enough mana using these swifts. So we're going to have to go for something like just a tad bit more efficient. He's kind of really dangerous to be next to, otherwise we would just carry and slice her to death. But uh, let's go ahead and keep trying carry and slice her just for a little bit more. Just a little bit longer. Now where's our stuff? He seems to always do that charge. Assholes. He leaves just lava everywhere. <laughs> okay, I assume his entire body is a hitbox right now. Yeah, we can do about a thousand damage to him like that. And we found that we can block that attack. Oh no. And we need to restore FP. Alright, Durgo. Okay, nice. Oh no, wrong one. <clears throat> well, we found out that we can block pretty much all of his attacks. So that's kind of nice. Wait, did we? Were we able to... damage this is due. Nice. It does a lot. To beat him in the head, it does a lot more damage. Okay, run. Yeah. And he's gonna do that again. Nice. Let's move. Man. Did you heal that? Did you get more FP? And we're going to run away from that. We're going to do some moving. And, you know... Gotcha! I intend to use this one. But whatever, it works. So we have a dragon heart now. Now we can listen to a Scottish man say, I was the chosen one! 